Well, hey, I'm going to talk a little bit about something else that came up in uh, some of these uh, posts that people are making in the forums, and that is uh, the issue about uh, special uh, types of searches, uh, and of course some basic examples are, um, uh, let's say, uh, well, there's just a whole bunch of them, but uh, one of the ones I really want to talk about is uh, students in school and uh, and then of course some other areas that uh, that are kind of a pertinent there too but in the case of Tinker versus Des Moines uh, which is uh, a uh, 393 US 503 and it was a 1969 case uh, some kids were wearing uh, black armbands about the Vietnam War at the high school and uh, faculty members and uh, people like that came in and said that um, weren't allowed to wear that kind of thing. Now it's just a black armband. It's not like uh, t-shirts that you see kids wear today like uh, I like Budweiser or uh, uh, I, I've, I've seen all kinds of weird t-shirts I mean that kids wear around but uh, they're not going to be allowed to uh, wear anything to school that has like cuss words or uh, graphic kinds of things, even a Playboy Bunny type thing. Uh, none of that's going to be allowed. Uh, in fact, they're going away and that's why they're going to uniforms because of this type of, of situation. But basically what was held is that the Supreme Court ruled that you know wearing an armband was not a basis for um, any kind of action or reaction by the uh, school or the police or anybody like that. And so that's just the beginning of a number of these uh, different kinds of, of cases. And uh, there, there's some different things that we need to consider on this. And that is that, you know, what about, I mean, there's a, just a number of different things, but uh, let's let's just go down the list here of things that I've heard about or seen, and that is, uh, how about uh, searching lockers? Okay, should searching lockers be legal? Okay, uh, and so um, um, you know this is one consideration. Uh, you know there is um, uh, a, a situation where police will come in with a dog. And they'll walk your uh, uh, walk a dog uh, through the halls. There, you know, there's just a whole bunch of uh, legal issues, and uh, these special needs searches uh, fit right in with uh, schools. And you know, the 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 answer is generally speaking that uh, police and uh, schools can search lockers because the locker belongs to the school; it doesn't belong to the kid. Now, what about searching their car? What about just indiscriminately going around and searching a, a car in the school parking lot? Well, no, you can't really do that. It's not the same as a locker because uh, that could be dad's car. Uh, and, you know, you can't force consent and you can't make them, uh, you know, do uh, uh, anything against their will. Now, another thing that's interesting, I think, is the, uh, the issue of uh, searching purses. I, I, I've had cases where uh, purses were searched, and uh, let's say uh, my doll was found in one of my student uh, clients' uh, purse. And she had not gotten clearance from the nurse's office to carry this uh, little container of my doll around, but she was getting her period and she was... Uh, very uncomfortable and her mother gave them to her and, they, and this girl got expelled from school because of this zero tolerance policy for having like aspirin in your purse. Uh, and so what about searching a purse? What about uh, a student says, well I've heard so and so has uh, pot in her purse. There are actually cases like that where uh, purses have been searched and they did find marijuana but the, you know is this plain view what's I mean what's the expectation of privacy in a woman's purse I mean I think it's pretty high I don't even look in my wife's purse period and I've been married to her for over 40 years you know 
So, uh, you know, that's private. I mean, and it's uh, very embarrassing sometimes if, if people have uh, personal items down in there. Uh, and so searching uh, those kind of things are different than searching uh, the locker. You can search locker indiscriminately anytime you want to. Now, the normal standard for searching anybody is probable cause, as you know. But because of the heightened need for uh, safety in schools, uh, the, per the, the current standard is uh, reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. So basically what they're saying is that a lot of these things that we see, uh, based on the, this, this is another case, it's called uh, TLO um, versus uh, New Jersey, I believe. But let me check that just to be on the safe side. Uh, and that's, I think, where we get this expression, you know, reasonable suspicion. So remember the Tinker uh, versus Des Moines case for the uh, point. Yeah, it's actually New Jersey versus TLO. Uh, and I'm going to give you the full information on that here in just a second if I can get my computer open up. Um, it's a 1985 case, so it's a little newer than the Tinker versus Des Moines. Okay, here we go. Uh, actually, 1983, uh, Piscataway High School in New Jersey, uh, TLO high school student, school officials searched her purse, suspecting she had cigarettes. Officials did discover cigarettes, and they also found marijuana. Uh, and so there's a question about, well, whether they had sufficient evidence to search that purse and so basically what the court said in that case was yes uh, in a six to three decision they said that uh, there was a reasonable suspicion because apparently a teacher smelled smoke in the ladies room went in there found uh, these two girls and uh, so the one girl admitted it, the other girl refused to say anything uh, and the court said, no, exclusionary rule does not apply. And uh, in that situation where there is at least some reasonable suspicion, uh, then you can search the purse for, in, their, in this case, it was for cigarettes. But in the course of it, they also found marijuana. So uh, false citation on that case, New Jersey versus TLO, 469 U.S. 325. Uh, it's actually reported out. Uh, in 1985. So it's a 1985 case uh, started in 1983 uh, determined by the Burger Court. Now I think this is kind of the standard that's been applied. There are other cases out there and you can shepherdize New Jersey versus TLO if you want to find out uh, more developments uh, in, in this area. Uh, another uh, interesting uh, area, uh, which is a side comment, is this whole what we call lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transsexual, or LGBT uh, type situation in the um, uh, schools that are coming up now. And it's kind of funny, uh, and I don't mean funny haha, -ha, but funny interesting, uh, that uh, some kids are wanting to bring uh, same-sex friends uh, to the prom. And you know, some of them want to bring same-sex partners to the prom because they are lesbians, gays, bisexuals, or transsexuals, or what we call LGBT. Other girls just feel more comfortable. I mean, they're still a little young, they're still a little immature, they're still a little naive, and they would just rather go with a friend uh, because they don't want to miss the prom and they want to dress up, uh, but they don't have a boyfriend. Maybe they're between boyfriends or maybe, you know, they just don't feel like they're ready to have a boyfriend. So, um, you know, basically one case after another that's been ruled on recently, and this is kind of a hot topic right now, is that uh, kids can take whoever they want to to the prom. If the school is going to have a prom, is going to allow the prom, then kids can take whoever they want to to the prom. And it's really gotten so bad that in some places, especially in the Deep South, 
they've just been canceling proms. There's not going to be a prom. Well, if you don't want to have the prom uh, our way, where you've got to bring in a person of the other sex uh, to the prom, then we're just going to take our football and we're going to go home. There's not going to be a prom. Uh, I mean, so how childish is that? So anyway, uh, another example here of how uh, these issues become more and more complex. Uh, in a way, sorry to say, it seemed like it was simpler back in the day, but maybe it wasn't as fair as we thought it was. So uh, this is another issue that's coming about. It's not really absolutely pertinent to what we're talking about in terms of searches, but it's just showing you the upheaval of... Uh, the law in respect to what's going on in school. So very interesting, uh, something more to think about. Follow up on that TLO if you wanna try to see. I know there's a bunch of different stuff out there uh, in terms of uh, suspensions and searches and different things like that, uh, bullying. Uh, there, there's a lot of things going on in public schools right now. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check back later uh, and thanks for watching.